Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We're now in a village called Hongxi in Wanshui Township in southwest China's Guizhou province. I'm Zhang Yiyi with Xinhua News Agency. Hongxi is one of the villages which are called the Silversmiths Villages, with many of the local residents being silver artisans. In the green hills of Miaodong Autonomous Prefecture of Qiandongnan in Guizhou Province, handmade silver jewelry is commonly used by people of the Miao ethnic minority, the sixth most numerous of China's 56 ethnic groups. The Miao lived a rather isolated life in China for thousands of years and continue many of the customs and traditions of their forefathers. Silver jewelries form an important part of the Miao culture as the people believe it represents fortune and it protects them from evil spirits and illness. They are also incredibly beautiful. The Miao people, especially women, wear it on festive occasions and especially weddings, when they are covered with silver pieces. It is a very beautiful way of ornamenting themselves but also protecting themselves. The Miao people have been silversmithing for the last 400 years, and the making technique of the silver jewelry was listed as the National Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2006. The silver making techniques are often passed on through generations as part of the heritage of the Miao family. Most local silversmiths are male, and their fathers and grandfathers also made silver jewelry. While now, more and more craftswomen with a better sense of art expressions are standing out. Now let's pay a visit to a local female silversmith's house and see how she makes these stunning pieces of jewelry. Now I'm in Yang Changlan studio attached to her shop where some uh, finished products are displayed here. Joining me today is Yang Changlan, a local female uh, Silver artisan who is 36 years old. Now let's hear about her story. Yang Tai Jie, you've been doing this work for how long? Wow, I've been doing this for 12 years. So she's been practicing the silver crafting for over 12 years. So you've been doing this for 12 years? Yes, I've been doing this for 12 years. I've been doing this for 12 years. So I've been doing this for 12 years. 所以我没，我嫁到他们这边就是有十二年，我一嫁到他家就是做银子的。啊、oh, ，So since she married, she was married to this family, she has been practicing this、uh, silver craft, and、um, her、uh, husband and her father-in-law has been practice have been practicing this、uh, art for over thirty years.、Um, 所以杨大姐，您可以给我们展示一下，就是我们怎么把这个银器做出来的吗？ So now we're, we're going to head to the making progress of the silver work. So we're going to head to the making progress of the silver work. As you can see, uh, a, a very delicate piece of silver work is made from a silver brick. You can see the silver brick. Oh, it's in the middle. So first of all, we take a very large piece of silver brick. And as you can see, Yang is melting them into the pot. And um, 
So first of all, we have to melt the silver brick and the, all the silver pieces into uh, li liquid silver. As you can see, she is projecting flame onto the silver. This is extremely hard work because I can feel the hot wind blowing on my face. So as you can probably see now the silver is melted into some liquid state. So usually it takes a lot of time to melt these uh, silver bricks into a liquid state. So as you can see, she's now pouring these uh, so, so, so usually we're gonna pour these uh, silver liquid into this mold, and then. Uh, so, so then they're made into these uh, silver sticks. And she then fixed it onto the workstation and hammered this silver stick until Yeah, so the traditional technique is to continuously hammer this piece of silver stick until it is made into a flat and now Yang is going to show us how she's uh, stretching some silver wires out of the silver stick. She just made. The making techniques of the silver jewelry is extraordinarily complicated. It usually consists of at least 30 procedures. I think that's why it was listed as the National Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2006. And today, highly skilled Miao silversmiths continue to create intricate jewelry with traditional techniques. As you can see from here, one small item of jewelry can take several days to make. Now Yang is using a huge clamp 
to stretch out silver wire through her mold board. As you can see, the, the wire are coming out slimmer so that she can make delicate and complicated jewelry out of it. So now the, the wires are, are, are ready. So as you can see, she is placing the flat silver piece onto the mold and she's pounding so that this pattern designs are gradually appearing on the silver piece. Ah, so as you can see, if we if we take a closer look, it looks like a fan. And then, so this is the original piece which forms this. Yeah, so it's like folded, and then. So as you can see from up here, uh, the local silver artisans use several kinds of tools. As you can see, there are scissors and clamps, tweezers in all different shapes and uh, sizes. Mm. So now Yang is showing to us how she coil the silver wire, which forms, as you can see from earlier, the stem of the flower on that hat. She's rubbing the stick against the workstation's platform back and forth. As you can see, this requires a lot of patience. Ah. So this is how the stand is made.
So, so, Yana, can I try it? Can. So, I'm, I, I think I'm now gonna try a few steps of the the making process. 也是卷那个吗？来，我你觉得哪个比较简单 ？I think I'm gonna try the easiest part. 卷小花的。嗯，就行。哦，那我可以试一下吗？可以，我再打开啊。好。So now I think I'm gonna try folding this piece of silver flower. How to coil this petal into a beautiful piece? 意思你就把它折起来就行了。谢谢。嗯，我就放在这里。嗯。哎，这往边上，哎，对。这折起来，这也只是很纯的，很、嗯、很软。So as you can see, as the silver piece is very pure, so it's very soft. It's really hard to handle. 但是就容易非常容易非常容易剥出一个感觉是硬，就是那种死角。好，呃，这边转，呃，转，哎，这边转，转了，然后就又往这边拢一下。So it's really hard to find the right angle to coil the piece. But I think this is not a flower. It's barely a piece of flower. No, it's just to add it a little bit. Like this. Long a little bit. Then just add it a little bit. Okay. 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 就把它这里有一个小小的，小洞洞。So as you can see, there is a little hole. 把它插插进来。嗯。插进来，然后小夹子。夹的。And you just pull it from the middle. 把它插进去。就是打开。就插进去。这样就好了，嗯，这样加工好了。好的。嗯。这变成一朵小花。So that's how one of these thousands of flowers was made. It was co-made by me and Yang, I think. 啊，所以，那这个这个花就可以就可以插了，哎，这朵小花就也也可以插进去了。嗯，它就切，那个洞啊，这样。So we just had a very close look at how a piece of jewelry was made. 这小银毛花就工程就做好了。嗯哼。嗯。And now let's find more about how the industry of handmade silver work was developed for the silver for silver silversmiths like Yang. As uh, tourism has boost, has as tourism have boost the sales of so, silver accessories, they are creating a lot of uh, opportunities for local people. So Yang and her husband have started this, as you can see, this uh, place. It's called a corporative uh, company. We, if we're naming it like that, and they are gathering local artisans to work together and uh, making make silver jewelry. So uh, as you know, here is the silversmiths village. Uh, so they started the silversmiths cooperative uh, since last year, and now they have gathered over 57 households of silversmiths from this town uh, to together make silver pieces together. He has been getting orders from uh, both home and other places, even abroad. Uh, uh, the Miao people have a lot of celebrations and festivals. Uh, and for them, the silver work is, the silver jewelry is one of the most important fortune uh, of their lives. And uh, as, you, as you have been introduced, uh, for Miao girls, uh, these silver jewelries uh, don't only represent beauty, they also protect them from illness uh, and harm of the evil spirits. So I think now it's time to wrap up our uh, report. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you like this show, you can uh, share it with your friends on your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter page. Uh, thank you for joining us and see you next time.